Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new, welcome. I know you're itching to see this flyer design tutorial in Photoshop. So without much ado, let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag this image in and I'm going to go ahead and scale it and we'll, we will just be using just a portion of this. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and drag in another image which we will put on top. And I'm going to set that right there. I'm going to double click on it. Now we need only a little piece of this image. So I'm going to add a layer mask. To do that, click on the layer mask icon on the bottom. Now pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black. You know, black hides, white reveals. Now we want to go ahead and paint. So we want to go ahead and increase our brush head or reduce it with your left and right bracket. And we'll go ahead and paint. I'm going to turn off the visibility of the bottom one. I'm just going to paint something like this. I'm going to turn on the other one and we are going to go ahead and reduce the opacity of the first one. So it sort of bleeds through it. So with this set, we are going to repeat the same concept. Add a layer mask to the other image, pick up your brush tool, and we are going to go ahead and also brush this. So we sort of blend this in with our background. Now, the next thing we want to do is to begin to add some gradient effect to the background. So click on your background image, go under your adjustment and make sure go under your adjustments and choose gradient so click on the color stop click on the color now you can either find a purple from your color option or you can even choose within the image itself so with this selection i'm okay i'm going to click okay and then the very end of the color stop we are also going to go ahead to choose a purple color. Now go ahead and click OK. Now the next thing we're going to do is we want to add a solid color. So click on your background layer, go to adjustment and then add a solid color. We are going to go ahead and choose a purple which will be our base color. And we are going to choose maybe a deeper purple and we are going to click OK. So with this set, we want to go ahead and begin to add in the rest of our background. So I'm going to go ahead and click and drag this image in and I'm going to set it right there. Double click. Now go into your layers panel, move that layer to the very top, pick up your move tool and we want to go ahead and flip this image. So to do that, go under your edit and then go under transform, choose horizontal flip and that will do it for you. Now we want to go ahead and scale this image down a little. Now the next thing we are going to do is we want to blend this in with our background. So we are going to reduce the opacity of this so it basically infuses with our background. Now with this set, click on your image, add a layer max, pick up your brush tool and we are going to blend in the edges as well. So everything is uniform. So with this set, we are going to go ahead and click on the other image, which is the last image I have here. And you wanna make sure you click on the thumbnail. Now we wanna erase a little bit of that image so we have more of our subject showing. And I'm going to go back to pick up the, the subject layer and we are going to reduce the opacity. So we have something like this. Now, the next thing we want to do is to throw in the next image. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this image. And I'm going to move it down, double click to accept. We're going to use the same technique, reduce the opacity of this image. So it sort of blends in with the background. So about 50% is good enough. Add a layer max as well. And we are going to 
brush off the edges so we get rid of some portion of this image as well so once you have this this is almost at the end or wrapping up our background i'm going to move this up a little now if you use it a newer version of Photoshop once you click on your image you should be able to move it or scale it because you have your transform already activated and at the very top you can see auto check show transform all selected so if those are not checked you need to make sure that those ones are checked for you now if you have an older version of Photoshop and you don't have your transform activated click on your image go under edit then go to transform and then choose scale and you can do the same thing that I just did. So with this set, we want to go ahead and we want to add a swell gold effect. So I'm going to drag and drop this image as well. It's very small, but we can still use it to achieve the effect that we want. So I'm going to set it in place like this and i'm going to reduce the opacity so we have something more like that so with this set i am going to add a layer max again pick up my brush tool and i'm just going to go ahead and blend this in now what i want to do is that i want to set this on the bottom so it fills up the bottom space and you want to make sure that this time your brush head is a little bit smaller so we can clean up the text right there i'm going to go in and throw in one more image and i'm going to set that right there i'm going to double click and then i'm going to go ahead and change the blend mode of this so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to choose the soft light now I'm going to move my image and set it up like that and I'm going to go ahead to scale it like this. So with this in place, I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to pick up, I'm going to add a layer max and I'm going to do the same technique. So you can see that it's all about layering and also getting rid of portions of the image that you don't need. So we are going to go ahead and click on this image and we want to move it up a little so that we have just the top portion of that. So with this in place, I'm going to go back to the thumbnail of the layer max of that image, pick up your brush tool and we want to paint so that we only see just the top portion of that image. So I'm going to pick up my type tool with my foreground as white, I'm going to type in, so it's going to be a women. So I'm going to highlight, go ahead and type in the geometry font and I'm going to select that. And I'm going to go ahead to scale this and make this big. Double click on the font layer. It will bring up the layer style. Click on your drop shadow. Click inside your drop shadow to be able to edit the property so you notice that in my drop shadow i'm using uh, more of the size so that i can get a more spread on the shadow and notice that my distance is not too much and i've reduced the opacity on the shadow so that i don't have a dark um, shadow background so i'm going to go ahead to click ok and then i'm going to go ahead to add another font i'm going to highlight my font and I'm going to look for the font that I want. Now, this time we are going to use the Charlie Sebasti regular, and I'm going to go ahead to scale it like that. And we want to set it on top of our um, text, which says woman. And we are going to highlight, and I'm going to change it to this honey mustard um, color. So with this set, we want to go ahead and add a little bit of a drop shadow. So we are going to double click on that layer, add a drop shadow, click on that, and then notice I'm using the same drop shadow effect. So this is good enough. Go ahead and click OK. Now we want to go ahead and bring in our subject. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this image in. And we are going to go ahead and take off the background. 
Now, if you have a newer version of Photoshop, you can use the quick action to take off your background or if you're using an older version, you can still use the quick selection tool to also take off the background. Now, I have other tutorials where I show you how to take off the background if you're using an older version of Photoshop. So I will try to put a link to that in the description below. So if you're using a newer version of Photoshop, all you have to do is click on your layer, go under your property, click on convert, convert to layers. So you want to go ahead and say yes. So once you made a selection, once you have converted your layer, go back under your property, you will see quick action and click on remove background. And Photoshop does very well in taking off the background for you. Now we are going to go ahead and scale this down a little and we want to set it somewhere here, obviously behind our text. So we are going to click on that layer and we are going to move it down in our layers. Click on your image, go under image, click on adjustment and then choose brightness and contrast. Now we want to go ahead and increase our brightness, increase our contrast. Now you see that just by doing that, it really transforms the image. You don't even have to play with your brightness. It's good enough. So go ahead and click OK. Pick up your brush tool with your foreground as black, black hides, white reveals when working with layer max. So you want to make sure that you are on the thumbnail of your layer max. Go ahead and brush this in so your subject basically blends in with your background. So with this set, we want to go ahead and pick up our font tool and we are going to go ahead to just type in hope. Now we want to go ahead and highlight this and we are going to go ahead to choose a basic font. So choose Century Gothic Pro and we are going to change the style to bold. We are going to change the color. So click on the, on the color picker, choose the color that you want and you can go ahead and scale this down. So with this in place, we want to go ahead and also add in the name of the pastor. So once you have this, you can go ahead and highlight if you want to add a little bit of a style effect. Now, if you want to open up any text, you can go under your property V A, and then you can open it up. So you have something like this. So we're going to make another copy again, command J, make a copy. Now pick up your move tool, set this in the middle. You want to go ahead now and add a camera raw effect to finish off your design. So to finish it off, we are going to click on the top layer and we are going to hold down shift option, command E to make one file. Now you want to go under filter and you want to go and choose camera raw filter. You can go ahead and increase your contrast and you notice that it's really changing up the final piece for you is basically pulling out all the rich colors so you can see those more. Now, if you want, you can also take the temperature back if you want to change up the color. Now, I really don't want to change up the color. I think this is perfect. So I'm going to go ahead to click OK. Now I want to show you the before and after. You see, this is the before, which is a little bit more muted. Now this is the after, which adds a little bit more punch to your final piece. Even around the hair, it looks perfect. So guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. So I hope that this was helpful. Please like, comment, subscribe. Enjoy recreating this flyer and I will see you back in the next tutorial. Bye y'all.